Hello, this is Mike Leibman. Welcome to PHP Programming Video 22, and this lesson is on generating passwords and ASCII code. Now, what is ASCII code? ASCII code basically is the ability to generate basically letters from numbers. So you have to represent uh, letters in Boolean, and then that Boolean translates to a decimal or an oct or a hectal, and there's also an HTML that we won't talk about today. And so here's an example of uh, how you create a... Uh, letter from a number in PHP and you actually use a ch or the character um, method and so all I'm going to do is stick a hex a decimal in there or a octal in there or a hex in there it knows it's a decimal or it knows it's a octal by the number of uh, spaces and it knows it's a hex if you have 0x in front of it so let's go ahead and run this code and see what the decimal for 52 is what the octal for 52 is and what the hex is for 52. So you see this character method is actually holding either one of these particular numbers. It knows what number it is and it gives you the output. And that's something that's really great for PHP. It really tries to figure out what you're doing. So let's run this code. Make sure you're on the actual program first. We'll go to run configurations. This is lesson 22. We're on 21. So let's go navigate to 22. Click on that, hit OK. And then you can go ahead and hit the run button, which is down here below. And your program runs. And in this particular case, I actually generated a password. And I generated the numbers 4, star, and r. So they're all different. So we know the octal 52 and the hex 52 and the decimal 52 are not the same. So they give you different characters. Uh, we'd like to look at all of them. So let's go back and let's create a program that actually creates a uh, ASCII table for us. So we don't even have to run to a table. We can create our own ASCII table. And what I'm going to do here is just come along here. I've created some code. And it's down here on line 22, create ASCII table. I'm going to undo this. Now, it's so simple to create an ASCII table. You go, man, that is pretty cool. And let me show you how to do that. And all I'm going to do is going to use my little for statement. We learned that in the last previous lessons. And the first one is basically it starts with I, and then the condition is less than 256, because there's 256 ASCII characters. And that includes special characters as well. And then we're iterating by one each time. And we just stick that number right into our character, our chr uh, command. And each time it goes through, there is going to generate an ASCII character. But you know what? I'm going to do three types of ASCII characters. I'm going to go ahead and generate the ASCII character. I'm going to tell you what the decimal is. And then I'm going to use some cool commands. For that decimal, I can actually show you what the binary number is. And to convert a decimal number to a binary, you just use the des bin command. I'm actually going to show you what the octal number is for that des, for that X key code. And that is uh, des oct, that will take a decimal number and convert to octal. And you take that decimal number, which is i, and you put it into des hex, you get the hex number. And that's so easy to do in PHP. So actually, there's you've learned several new commands. We've got one more to show you in this lesson. So des hex, just review, converts a decimal to hex. Des oct converts a decimal to octal. And des bin, or bin, connects a decimal to a binary. And our decimal is being generated in our for loop, going from 0 to 256. Let's go ahead and run that real quick and see what we get out. And so what we've done here, we've actually generated a ASCII table. And so the first few uh, ASCII characters are not really human readable. They're commands like shift and all that stuff. But let's go down a little further as we get on to uh, more ASCII characters. You see arrows, just tons of things are being generated. Let's get down to the letters, something that we consider to be human readable. Let's move down. There you go. You got some numbers. For example, the ASCII character... Um, Two is represented by the decimal number 50, binary 110010, octal 62, or hex 32. So if you'd actually put any of those in, you'd actually get that particular number back. Let's go down a little bit. And you got capital letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you see the uh, uh, character A is re represented by the decimal number 65. Binary one zero 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 one. Hope I got that right. Uh, octal one zero one or hex forty one. So that generate the entire table. So if you ever need to know what the uh, representation for a particular character is, you can look at this binary table. There's ASCII table that we've created, and it's got lots of characters in there, all the way up to two hundred fifty six of them. And that is your ASCII code. Isn't that pretty cool? So let's run back to the code. Got a few more things to do. There's another command I want to show you about, which is pretty exciting. And, you know, you may go one way, but you always want to go the other way. That's just the way it goes in coding. And the way to go the other way is use the ORD method. Now, what the ORD method will do is going to send you back the decimal number for whatever letter or symbol that you put into it. So now you can go the other way. You can actually, uh, from a number, get a letter, or from a letter, get a number. And that's what ORD does for you. Let's go ahead and comment some of this code out so we can just get ORD by itself. 
And so the question is, what is the decimal number for the capital letter A? That's what we're trying to figure out. So let's go ahead and run the code. And there, right, there it is. The uh, decimal number for the capital letter A is 65. Let's run our ASCII table again and verify that. And so we're going to scroll down here to A, and indeed it is 65, so it works. So you can go one way or the other, and you need to do that. What I find many times is when I'm doing, when I'm doing keyboard captures, I'm going to actually want to take that particular letter, convert it to a number, and compare that number so I know that I've actually hit something. So it's important to be able to go one way or the other, and you'll find methods where you need that. The application we're going to look at today, however, is going to be just a little bit different. We're going to generate a password. So let me uncomment this code and go through it and show you now that you understand ASCII how easy it is to generate your own sets of passwords. If you get into this business and you start building a pretty uh, versatile stuff, you're going to need to generate passwords. And so one way to do it is to use PHP and that could be generated on the server side so no one can really access it and you got it sent to you. So right here you've got um, to generate this password what I've done, I have an upper, a lower, and a numeric, and an other. So actually, this is going to be a four-set password. It's going to be all stored in an array called pass order, and then here's my password that I'm actually going to spit out to you. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to first look at the ASCII characters 65 to 90. Now, you may not be interested in that. You may only have a certain set. Like, I'm going to spit out a whole bunch of different types of uh, symbols, but you may not want those symbols to be in your password. And if you do, you don't use that particular number. How do you find out? Just run your ASCII code I've given you, generate your ASCII table, and see what series of numbers you want. What does 65 through 90 take us? Just we'll take a look at this one example. So once again, run your uh, little uh, ASCII generation code. And we'll go to 65 through 90. And see, 65 is actually the capital letter A, and 90 takes us probably all the way through the alphabet. It takes us all the way to Z. You could go through here and select different uh, types of symbols that you want. Maybe you want capital letters, maybe you want small letters, maybe certain uh, things you don't want. Maybe you don't want quotes or special characters. I certainly wouldn't want special characters in a password, and but some people do. So that's just an example of... Uh, how you would decide what you want to do. So what each one of these are, this is just a number of iteration. So we say upper is three, basically that means you're going to take your for loop and just go uh, three uh, uh, of those particular ASCII characters. Now what I'm going to do is use this uh, particular array, pass order. I don't have to put an I in there, it just knows to stick them in there. And I'm going to use my random method we learned about in previous lessons. So I'm going to be randomizing between the two numbers, 65 and 90. And I'm going to choose a number and I'm going to put it in my character and just stick out, spit out a random number and stuck that into the pass order array. Array. Then for the lower, I'm actually going to look at another set of digits from 97 to 122. And then uh, for uh, uh, the numeric, I'm going to look at the numeric ones, 48 to 58. So what I'm doing is looking at upper characters, lower characters, numeric characters, and here's just other. Here's all those random characters. And all those are being basically stuffed into an array uh, once you've randomized three times through uh, that particular character set. Now once that's done, you're going to use your shuffle command. So we're using all these commands that we learned in previous lessons. So I've created that password, now I'm shuffling it around, and then what I'm going to do, use my for each that I've learned from another lesson, I'm going to step through that for each and going to concatenate that uh, particular character string. And finally, I'm going to spit that password out. So let's go down below and show you how I return that password. Right here. Going to spit that password right out, and there you go. So let's go ahead and run the code and see if it works. And there you have it. You have a password right there. Now, I don't really like all these symbols, but you do need these for really secure stuff. But I don't really like them because they're not really human readable. So I'll, I would choose basically a different set for human readable. I wouldn't use quotes and all these other stuff, but people do. Uh, but let's run it again, and you can see each time you run it, you get a different password. Isn't that cool? So now you have a password generator. <laughs> hey, And that was pretty easy, but it used all those methods we actually talked about in previous videos. Let's go ahead and review what we went through today. Today we learned that uh, ASCII characters can be generated from numbers and using the CHR command. And we learned you can go the other way using ORD command and just sticking letters and go back or symbols and go back the opposite direction. So you can go one way or the other. We learned how to build our own ASCII uh, table using uh, basically the for loop and just uh, generating uh, CHR characters. And then we actually create a password system where we had an upper, lower, numeric, and other created a password array that we stuck all those through into by generating a random character set between the uppers, lowers, numeric, and other. And then once we had that set, we randomized it using the shuffle command. And then we stepped through a for each, connecting the uh, password together into a string. And then what we did, we actually printed that string out to the window for our user basically use uh, to uh, jump into their website or into the database or whatever you might use that password for.
So this is really exciting. We're getting into some pretty cool stuff. And uh, thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. This was Mike Lively.